Go shoot in your girl. I heard you said you're going to go shoot in your girl. I'm going to go cheat on my girl with somebody else to not go cheat on my girlfriend with the one she hates the most. <laughs> Like there's like I have two main girlfriends, so the only way to to, to can you get that from me, Dale? That way. Yeah. The only way to not cheat on my wife the way I because I is like by not fucking with the one like I'll fuck with a little slut like sleazer that I never fucked before like a one time fling thing, putting that in your face. But if I fuck with my regular other girlfriend, it's like really cheating because I haven't been with her in like four months. Wait, are you married or anything like that? To the game. No one knows. Yeah, I'm married. I, well, I'm not married, dog, but I've been with my Hannah for 15 years. Okay, so that's your that's your girl, girl. Yeah, but I got three families, and I've been with all of them for ten years plus. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. that's bro. I, all right, I'm so the for the record, for the record, <laughs> yes. What is your ethnicity? Because the first time I seen you, I thought you were black. <laughs> all right, well look here, I'm gonna be real as fuck, bro. <laughs> the truth comes out. Hey, I ride the suit car, suit that I say, but my mother is Puerto Rican and Creole. And my dad is Mexican. Okay. Yeah, so there is a little bit of nigga in me, you know what I'm saying? I'll <laughs> okay. keep it real. Hey, He's black from the hey bro, bro, the dick don't lie, bro. They be like, there's no way you're full. Yeah, 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 I promise you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I am mixed. I have a little bit of black in my family, you know what I'm saying? But uh, my dad's a cholo. My dad's like a fucking real ass essay, bro. So I literally, like, just grew up su you know what I mean? Okay. Had to prove myself extra hard, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, did you grow up in San Bernardino? Born and raised. Born, what uh, high school did you go to? Every high school, but... <laughs> you went to every... <laughs> <laughs> no cap, bro, but, but my high school that I fucking resided at, that I fucking, like, was all, like, sports in, was Pacific High School. You went to Pacific? Hell, motherfucker, yeah! p Dogs in this bitch! Hell yeah, bro! Oh, my lord. Yeah, Varsity yeah. Letterman here, bro. Come on, bro. Nose guard. And what? Oh, nose guard, okay. I was a, hey, bro, I was a bad motherfucker. What, uh, what year did you graduate? 05. 05, okay. Yeah, but I'm be real as fuck, homie. I graduated from the streets, bro. No cap. <laughs> my diploma, <Now>. fake. <laughs> my master's degree, fake. <laughs> now, other than the game, in real school, what type of student were you? I, because I see you as a smart guy. No, I can't. I can't imagine you doing homework though. Bro, no cap, bro. I literally went to school to fuck bitches and leave. <laughs> I didn't even know my fifth and sixth period teacher, bro. I went to both lunches. You, you told me you went to school to be the best. No, I'm being honest, bro. I was that, bro. I was good in sports. I was cute as fuck and had a car. Like, literally, bro. Like, and I literally was passing all my classes. I had higher grades than my sister at one point in time. But I was like, how? But I was fucking, like, four TAs, bro. <laughs> no, bro. No bullshit, bro. Like, no bullshit. I was so plugged in. It was crazy, bro. All right. So when you're in class, would you take notes? Or you just, like, think about, how am I going to smash the TA? No. no I didn't do anything yeah. but flirt. No, yeah. That's I, all you did? I didn't do any, if, if that TA was my girlfriend, then I'm, like, trying to fuck with her the whole class. <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom so I can suck your titties or something like that. You know, no cap. Okay. But I never took no notes or none of that. But I went to school to, to really hang out with the homies, bro. Like, I, like to me, I was getting dressed every day. You know, I was cute and shit. Knew I had football practice and shit. And the teachers couldn't film me because I was always, like, flirting with my teachers. Like, me, bro, no Catholic, I flirt with anything. If it's a female, fat, skinny, old, what's up? What's up? Like, I'll fuck my way to the top, bro. No, no way. <laughs> okay. Security guards, bro, I'm here. Juanita, bro. Oh, man, Juanita, bro. Promise you, bro. I would have no pulled out of her. 15 years old. You, I don't care. You went to Pacific? Yes, bro. Pacific High School, bro. Rock stars. Okay, so pretty much this answers my next question. Do you really have an OnlyFans? Yes. Yes, he fucking <laughs> Yes, $13. Tutrese. I was the first $13? Ever. Yes, bro, for the hook. Where'd you bro. come up with number 13? Because I'm a suit. Fool. We're cholos. <laughs> We're 13. Do you not see? Fool, I'm, a, I'm a, like a black cholo, bro, but I'm really a cholo. So, like, when I did the, the OnlyFans thing, I'm telling you what that was about, bro. What about the homies? All right, fool. He's like a fat dude, too. We got bitches, right? And we do we do crazy things that regular people can't do. Like for instance, like you're a pretty fit guy, very handsome, clean cut guy, right, bro? But I probably fuck like a lot of chicks that you probably fuck, dog, or you wanna fuck. <laughs> and the difference is, like, bro, look at you, you're kind of hot. You know what I mean? I'm fat. I have titties. So when I do it, it's an art form, bro. It takes a lot of game to. But see, chicks, chicks like chubby guys. Yeah, and I'm tatted up, bro. And I'm no. And the, yeah, you got. The yeah, ass. and I got an only fan. My boy. <laughs> My boy. But Finally. but anyways, he was like, we were going at it back and forth, and he was like. Um, but you ain't got only fan. I go, I'll do one right now. And he was like, you won't do it. Bet 20 bucks. And I was like, bet, bro. And he was like, you're gonna lose all your bitches. And I was like, let's do it. So I did it, bro. I kid you not, like 10 of my bitches. It's over. You're showing your dick and you're jacking it off. I, that's me in the background. Cause I put a mojo over the bitch's face and I'm smacking it. And she's like, I know it's me, but they don't. <laughs> But I start, hey, bro. Hey, you wear like a spandex suit to kind of hide yourself. Bro, but I start getting bitches who have only fans. Hot model bitches, Wait, bro. Wait, you started getting OnlyFans, hoes? Bitches like, hey, yeah. would you do a feature? Dude, no bullshit. In two hours, I made 519 bucks. 
Are you serious? <laughs> bro, and it was just me getting head, me beating the bitches over, looking at myself. Like, oh, I <laughs> thought he was bullshitting when he took, like, when I first met him, and then, like, you know, we got to talking and shit. Everybody said, does. Yeah, I got an OnlyFans. And I'm like, you're lying. And then this fool pulled out his phone and it showed me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Now, the, and then I subscribed to it. <laughs> <laughs> Your subscribers, are they mostly women? <laughs> or are they dudes? Or is like 50 50? Like, what is it? For the, for the OnlyFans? Yeah, for the OnlyFans. Dude, no bullshit. No chicks. I mean, no, no chicks. <laughs> no, hey, no dicks. I'm sorry. No dicks. Hey, it's crazy. A lot of them were my homegirls. Okay. Yeah. No chicks. Yeah, hey, a, a lot of my no. A, <laughs> hey, fuck you. I'm high. Hey, a lot of them were my homegirls. Like, you're not down. Do it. And I was like, should I do my only fan? They're like, do it. I subscribe. And I was like, are you really gonna pay that 13 bucks? Like, I swear, if you do it. So I started doing it, and I felt bad. I told my family members. I had a lot of family on my Snapchat. Like, hey guys, I'm putting like five warnings up. Like, don't if you don't want to see no disgusting shit, don't look past the Snapchat. Man, I had aunties, uncles, like, hey, you put your dick on camera? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but you're fat. Wait, yeah, your like, family seen that shit? Bro, everyone. They're everyone. watching his shit. Like, no capri. Imagine your family watching you fucking jack I can't, off bro, I can't even shit. imagine that. Like, Honestly, bro, my dad's a porn star. Like, at a young age, like, he he really. My, my girl's a porn star? My girl's Dude, my dad? Subscribes to his bro, shit. no, fool, my dad gets better bitches than me. No cap. So he can take your girls. He has before, several times. <laughs> All right, this letter. That's crazy. Bro, no. yeah, yeah, how that make you feel? Like, did you catch, like, did you want to fight your dad or you're like, fucking. Okay, let me tell you a true story, dude. My dad's fucking bitch right now, right? That says Deborah one Tito on her neck, right, fool? It's fucking, like, was my high school crush. I was like, that's the baddest. <laughs> true story. I was like, that's the baddest bitch in the school. I'm going to crack Yo. it. Then one day after I see my dad as low rider, and I, I see that bitch in my dad's car, and I was like, you raggedy bitch. Thanks for making up a happy home. Thanks a lot, man. True story. That's crazy. True story, bro. Fucked up. Hold on. How old are you? I'm 33. You're 33, and so your dad is how old? My dad is 52. So, like, you were, like, 18, 19, 20, and he's, like, 40-ish? Nigga, my dad had me at, like, 15. My client okay, so he's 30. That, right? <laughs> <laughs> let, let, bro, I'm born in a circle of whores. <laughs> My, oh, my uncles, my uncles, my, my fucking mom's brothers are there when my dad's cheating. And they're cheating on their girl. I'm just like, it's the life. <laughs> hey, 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 homie, I didn't choose it. It chose me, homie. Dead ass. Yeah, right. okay, shit. All right. People don't understand, like, why I'm such a horror. because you understand, bro, I was born in it. Since I was a little kid, like, I was born in this pink game shit. It you know is what, what it is. You know. How old were you when you first got high? Dude, no bullshit. I tried weed one time when I was, like, 14. Like I just hit it one time and I was like, it was gross because it was like, it was stress. <laughs> and then I really officially started smoking when I was 25. <laughs> no shit. I started at nine. Are you serious? No bullshit. You started I, at nine. A lot of people think I'm smoking a whole lot. I was so good. But I even left my kid's mom. Like, you're smoking weed? You, you're sucking coke for dick. Get out of here. <laughs> yes, you're sucking coke for dick. You're a whore. Get out of here. Your mom raised a slut. And then a year later, I'm getting high as fuck. Like, what was I tripping for? 25. You. Yes. Okay. But I was like, I smoke weed. Um, all right, so let's, let's talk right. about the uh, Finest Greens Company. When okay. was that first started? Like, when did you guys start that? That was about nine years ago, bro. Nine years. Yeah. Okay, so nine years strong, almost a decade. Yeah, bro, it's crazy because, like, we would just trap motherfuckers, bro. And I always had a vision for being better and shit, bro. So I was like, I want to learn how to grow, you know? So I started fucking trying my hardest how to learn from YouTube and get it wrong. And no one would show me until I finally met one grower who put me on game. And then when I learned how to grow, I built my own little grow in my house. And we just fucking went full bone. And when I had my first harvest, I first harvest, I said, I want most of my brothers. And I was like, let's turn this to a company, you know? And we sat back, just thought of it, man. I thought of the name. We fucking, no bullshit out from that day. My very first ever patient works for me today. Oh, shit. Yeah, from nine years ago, bro. So like, yeah. is, yeah, is the yeah, company yeah. comprised of just family and friends or is like... Outside people. Only family and friends. You only can get hired and fuck with us if you have years with us. Hmm. Like, this motherfucker hopped on. He got love out of some brotherhood type shit. He's like the one that hit the lottery. I mean, I, I put in a lot of work in the short time I've been here. I mean, come on, look at the shop. Yeah. You know, yeah. Eat my ass. <laughs> but anyways. Let's not, not talk about <laughs> but that. But everybody else got like nine, ten years plus or more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody. Everybody is like grown ass, respected, knows the whole get down, knows how I am. Like, so, where do you plan on taking the company? Like, five, ten years from now, where do you see it Where do you see it being? I want to own different fucking chapters, bro. One in New York, Chicago. Oh, shit. Alaska. 
You know what I mean? All my all my employees have been with me, like I said, 10 plus years. So any one of my employees can run any one of my shops. They know everything from start to finish, bro. We do growing. We're starting real estate. Um, we're going to, like I said, the fucking social media platforming, the entertainment industry. We're doing portraits, paintings, art. You know what I'm saying? Tattoos, of course. We're thugs. We're thrash, like homie. But honestly, bro, I'm taking this as far as it gets. I want to be the next cookies. I'll write there with him. Mm. That's the goal. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh... A fucking have you won competitions before with your weed yes bro sapo but honestly bro they're all just been locals a few in la bro but to me this it's not really like a competition type of thing because nowadays bro there's always somebody better there's always a new strain coming out the point is just to be recognized bro so to be like, known for always having the quality and home of being the exotics you know okay so fucking you said there's always a new strain coming out so like the game is hella rapid it's bro it's like, always oh even when it's slow when it's like the slowest there's still certain strains that don't lose their value and there's new strains of that strain it's like an endless Endless time lapse of fucking strains. So, if you're the best, you're the best for a month. Damn. Like dead ass, bro. So when you won the competition, you're like, okay, that's cool, but we gotta still keep going. No cap, bro. My dick's big, so I'll be like, all right, cool, that's cool. But I was like, no, like you know what I mean. We let's keep going. What's up? What's the next step? What's the next step? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then we got plugged in with SB extracts, so we've been fucking. Like I said, we we do our thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Luxury Smokes. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like just collabing with high end people who fucking know what they're doing, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, what, like, what's the ultimate goal for you in the company? Like, what's, what's your ultimate goal, the ultimate end game? To live at peace and be high. <laughs> like, comfortably, bro. Okay. Like, I think I'm really money hungry, bro. People can sit here and have different names for it, ambitious and all. But I, I just, I spend a lot of money, bro. And I got a lot of friends with money. So, I, my thing is, I need to be able to make enough revenue to support my habits and live comfortably and safe. You know what I mean? So, that, the goal is, this should be a multi-million or billion dollar company soon. Okay. So some bread, make, make, have a consistent I mean, amount of big money. Bro, there's in. different types of people, bro. Like I said, I'm a reformed drug dealer who's went legit. So think about like, there's drug dealers who want to sell it, get it and sell it, buy it cheap and sell it high or buy it cheap and sell it cheap, keep going. And there's some people who you know are just like the Bugatti, the Rolls Royce. <laughs> I'm not who you go to if you want to deal. I'm who you go to if you want the best. So I've always been a quality person from the dogs that I breed, from the guns that I carry, from the bitches that I fuck, bro. Like quality. So when it's my name on it, that's already like a given fact. It's like going to Nike or Craftsman. Like, you just know quality. You know what I'm saying? Fact. So quality over quantity. Exactly. So when you got quality, has that quality, bro, and you've been known for that for so long. Like I said, our motto was home of the exotics. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's already written in stone. I just need this to go <laughs> viral and keep going so we can keep getting more legit and keep fucking doing this FG shit. FG's not just weed, bro. It's, it's the bullies. It's art. It's tattoos. It's real estate. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking whore bags. It's a brotherhood. It's a fraternity, bro. It's like the fucking real deal hood fantasy factory. Yeah. Any uh, any celebs or known people that have smoked your shit? Hell of. Slip 400, the Westbrook sisters, Nova Heartbreak, Eddie Blue Line. Um, <clears throat> for a few, <laughs> like, low-key, bro, like, a shitload, bro. Like, a shitload of motherfuckers is, like... It's kind of hard to keep up when you want to be G-Real. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Criminal? <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, shout out Mr. Hey, shout out Mr. Criminal, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, bro, I smoke that's every much, 30 dude. minutes, bro. <laughs> of the day. And that's not even like... Go wait, home. wait, backwards or like... Backwards only. Backwards. Oh, okay, no yeah. bombs. The only, way, no the only way I don't smoke like every day is if I take a few dab rips and then I'll probably wait like every hour of the hour. But I don't... I probably have somewhere a quarter pound a day in myself, bro. No cap. Oh, shit. I have right. to, bro. I have to, bro. The fucking podcast. The FG podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. What's the official yeah, name again? The FG Camp Show. FG Camp Show. Yeah, yeah. Um, when did that start? That started about, like, what, eight eight months ago? Okay. Yeah, it's been a now, while. About eight months, yeah. Podcast is amazing. Appreciate it, bro. My only Appreciate complaint it. is I don't fucking see it every day. I yeah. want to see it every single day. I hear day. it, bro, but it's, um, it's hard, bro. You where know? do you want to take the podcast? Like, where do you see the podcast going with well, this shit? Well, we're actually trying to, like, hop into the entertainment business right now, bro. Uh, my boy Dirty Dale's a comedian, so he's, he, you know, he's on that route, and... I just think that I'm fucking funny as fucking cute as fuck for a fat dude. So I'm going to see <laughs> wherever that gets me. You know what I'm saying? My little fucking 30 minutes of fame. Yeah, that's a 30. Dude, you know? he just supplies me with material all I promise day. you, like, I I'm promise you, famous. I'm really just a cool ass fat dude, dog. Now, you don't really see too many of them. They're always trying to lose weight. Like, Jonah Hill, dog, what the fuck, dog? You're cool. Now you're like, I get it. You're gifted and shit, dog. But like, come on, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not one dude. Way back, like, like, dude, I'm not one dude. It'd be like Magic Mike, and there's not one fat dude. I'm like, he's part of Magic Mike. And they'd be like, 
Oh, you don't know Tito. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what? He's like, oh, dang, he's like, dicking bitches down the dumpster. You know what I'm saying? What the movie him and that dude with the guns? 20 on Jump Street. No, the what? one we just watched, uh, what was it? Something Dogs. Which one? Jonah Hill and the, and the drummer. Oh, War Dogs. War Dogs. Fuck yeah. He was thinking that one? Yeah, he was like a fucking beach ball. He I ain't gonna like lie. He was like He did. Came off the chopper and everything, dog. Yeah. was like, uh, played him for ounce. He was like, oh, you think I'm a bitch white boy? Oh, all righty. All right. <laughs> Pop the trunk on him. All right, question of the fucking year. All right. This is a heavy topic going on right now. Hey, bro, that's what I do. Is Vlad the Feds? Vlad TV. Oh. Is Vlad the Feds? All right, look, I'm going to give what's my... Your opi- yeah, what's your opinion? I'm going to give my that? real deal opinion, bro. I don't speak about things that I really don't know or have, like, some type of guidance or leading to doing that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But I have heard some things. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard because I don't see no paperwork and, like... You know, people do be catching themselves up, and he, like, he, he on a technicality, but I just can't speak about it because I don't know. There's, there, it's like, ah, uh, I just, don't know. You just know those right questions to ask, and, and if you ain't, you know, tight on your shit, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna end up self writing you know? Yeah, I don't know. So the, the people that accidentally, like, say too much than what they should be saying, mm-hmm. tighten your shit up. They need to tighten their game up, right? I'm real. Fuck no. No? No, no. Bro, like right now, bro, I say what the fuck I want to say because I'm comfortable, I'm high, <laughs> I've been chilling, nigga. Like, you know, I'm trying to talk, I, I talk freely. You, I think people just, I mean, don't think, even if you know the show beforehand, it's like, when you're there recording, man, it's like, motherfucker, just talk to talk sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, I you mean, don't, yeah, you figure, if you like us and we're in front of the cameras a lot, bro, you forget the camera's there and you just be like, man, fuck that, homie, you're in the zone. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It goes both ways, huh? It goes both ways, bro. Be, I feel like if you're going to go on that show, just be ready. You'd be like, damn, I might fuck myself up. <laughs> or don't go. Yeah. Or don't go, right? <laughs> but I'm, but, too, but at the end of the day, I mean, I don't see nobody, even though he's a fed motherfucker, still getting interviewed by him. <laughs> like, right. I'm be real. Right. Talk all that shit, he's like, yo, King Dito, I heard you out here fucking dicking bitches down in dump trays. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to show? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me call your lawyer. Let me call my lawyer. You gotta do that. You're right. I didn't do that. I'll be on black TV. Like, what the fuck, dog? Okay. I'm out here. All right. Um, the most notable, one of the most notable features about you is the tattoo on your head. Yes. What is that? Oh, bro, that's some mass tech shit, bro. You know, some we can't. Shit. I really don't speak too much on it. That's some like okay. jail shit, some south side shit. But it's just like, uh, if you know, who, like, if you know who Montezuma is, you know, like, our culture, it's just like jail shit. You know what I'm saying? Gang shit, okay. culture shit. Like me, like I said. I'm a half breed, but I represent Sutrese, you know what I mean? So, and being political and shit like that, the Aztec is very big in our culture, you know what I'm saying? So, to pay homage and respect to my culture, you know, we get certain marks and shit for earning certain stripes, you know? So, that's what that is, you know what I'm saying? Now, when you get a, uh, I've always wondered this, when you get a tattoo on your head, like, how do you treat it? Can you shower or, like, no? I'm on with the fucking G, bro. Once I, once it was done, bro, They, bro, this motherfucker told me, don't jump in the pool after a fresh tattoo. I said, nah. Right. I said, don't worry about that. Chlorine will kill germs. <laughs> Jumped in that bitch. I'm in there swimming. Like, hey, you motherfucker. Muffin purr. Like, for real, bro. Like, after I get my ink and shit, bro, on all my tattoos, bro, I, my head hurt the more. I, that shit was like, I was hallucinating this shit, dog. It was, I got the first session traditional, bro. Oh, bro? And, yeah, no, bro. No, yeah. Uh, 13 hours, big shoot tattoo, homie. And it, it was painful, bro. But when I got it, like the second one, it was like, oh my god, excruciating. If I'm in the shower and like it's regular, it hurt a little bit. It's like ah, but I just feel like it's clean. It's up clean it, and I just keep it lotioned up, nonsense to lube my shit. Like yeah, two man. weeks, and then it gets that nasty stage, and I got wear a lot of hats. People think I like, oh, you have AIDS in the back of your head. Like nah, 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 I mean, it's just <laughs> tattoo. But after that, bro, and then fresher than it, bro. But I got love my ink. No cap, bro, it gets me a lot of ass. So let's let's hop into San Bernardino. All right, let's talk. What's your take on San Bernardino? I'm from Medina. It's, it's a vague question, but as someone from San Bernardino, we all, I'm sure we all have the same sentiment. So what, what's your what's your take? I love the Dino, but it's a devil's playground. Every day, one of my close friends is dying. Not even from hood shit, bro, just from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I love it, but then it's so hateful. There's no respect. There's no boundaries. We're like... The epitome of like, fuck, what we are, what we were, and what we could be. You know what I'm saying? But I still have hope for my city, bro. I still like love my city. I feel like if one of us make out here and we really start putting to our city, it's just that ain't nobody from our city really been on, on, on enough to really be like, like we don't got no blue faces out here. We do. We ain't got. You know what I mean? It ain't like that. So 
if one of us out here makes it for the city and puts into the city, I think it could change. Because you forget when Rusty Six was out here, bro, back in the 90s and the 80s, bro, the, Dino was the shit, bro. I mean, Dino nice. was the fucking shit, bro. It may not be that now, bro, but everyone has ups and downs, my G. You feel it? So it's, it is what we make it. And I don't believe I'm the last fucking lion in this jungle, in this whole big jungle, bro. I know a few of the lions, bro. So hopefully pretty soon all of us can come together with our heads and our income we're going to put on. But like I said, sometimes you got to be selfish to get success. So I'm going to be a little selfish till I get where I'm at. And then once I'm secure, I come back from my city. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever see yourself moving away? Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. Don't Wait. get me wrong. Don't get Wait. me wrong. But not because of my city, though, bro. For two reasons. For safety and venture, bro. For one, people know who I am. There's not too many SA niggas out here who's freshed up fucking everything that has a pulse. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I could have $50 to my name and a motherfucker be like, oh, D, he got 50 racks, 100 racks. You look at my change, you're thinking that. Like, nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? I could be driving with my son. My family motherfuckers be like, you know he got 20 packs in there. So, it's like, I... I'm not going to be a, a fucking, I'm not going to be a statistic. I'm not going to be a victim. I'm not going to be a dumbass because I'm a real motherfucker. I'm going to live here. No. And venture is because I, I really see myself living somewhere that I never could picture myself living. Like, I remember being a little kid watching that movie Gun 3 or watching fucking Little Rock. I was like, damn, that's the, our home alone. Niggas live like that? What the fuck? I thought my dad was a baller, nigga. I thought he was out here trapped. We, I mean, I lived in a very nice neighborhood, like Rancho type of area, but it's like, Compared to what my, like, I'm watching on TV, like, damn, dad, you fail it, dad. Like, it's a bad dad. That nigga, for what's his name, Kevin McCoster, whatever the fuck his name is, bro, he's, their house? <laughs> have you seen Family Matters and Full House, the, the way they live in their houses and shit, dad? Like, niggas got good credit, dad. I mean, yeah, you may got 50 stacks, but they got 8.0, nigga. Just keep it real with you, dad. But anyways, <laughs> that's the point. I want to, you know I mean? I want to live in nice areas with my kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let, let him do things that I never could do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I had a great life, and we were spoiled. We had... I thought we were balling until I started watching. Like, I'm one of the people that, like, my parents told me, you could be whatever you want, and I believed them. I mean, if I want to be the president, I really got, I could be the president. Like, I want to be a drug dealer, so I'm, I'm a drug dealer, dog. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> at what age? No, when you were a kid, like, yeah. did you say, oh, I want to be a drug dealer? Did you say, I want to be a firefighter? Like, what, as a kid, what did you want to be? No bullshit, dog. Like, when I was a little kid, I just want to be a wrestler, bro. <laughs> I, I was like, ah, oh, the rocket this <laughs> bitch. Oh, oh, yeah, but, <laughs> but like, no bullshit. Then I was like, um, right when I was like, I say like 11, 12, bro, I got a glimpse of like real power. I seen my dad, bro. And I seen my dad's little essay. And I seen like, I know these like real hood ass tatted up niggas, like, like bloods and crib niggas all in one neighborhood. This is right when shit was really cracking back in the days. And I see my dad walk up. These niggas like, he the godfather. Like big deep. I'm like, my dad's, I see my dad, them punk motherfucker. I seen him. Sock a motherfucker that looked like Andre John in the mouth and the man like stood back but didn't hit my dad because he knew the consequences. Like, yo, that nigga's the he's the he's the boogeyman. He's he that little he's a killer, you know? So like I seen that shit, dog, and, it, and instantly I was hooked. I was like, I want that, bro. I wanna be Tony Soprano, bro. You know what I mean? I wanna be the Gambino. Literally, bro, like like even like to make my mom happy, I was like, I wanna be a firefighter, but stepped down, I was like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Bro, I went to med school and everything, bro. No bullshit. I used to be a fucking I used to be a fucking teacher at UEI and all that shit. No cap, bro. Wait, you what? I was a teacher at UEI. What's UEI? Like it's like a med, like like a med school for medical assistants. So I was you used teaching. to be a teacher. Yeah, I was a nurse at Redlands Community at the ICU, bro. Are you serious? No bullshit, bro. And no no bullshit. All I was thinking about was being a drug dealer. I was slinging slinging. He, he's telling the truth. Yeah. No, no cap. <laughs> okay. Bro, I was slinging at my job. So I would pull up <laughs> to Redlands Community Hospital in my sixth floor Impala. Just hopped out food, having a whole fucking fucking low rider full of shit, dog, going to work and on the brakes full of just, what's up, what's up, what's up? Fucking half my staff. Why did you take that job? Because I tried to make my mom happy. Okay. I used to work for the city too, bro. I was a trash man, fool. Great, I had great jobs, bro. The whole time, fool. I just really was like, I, every job I hate to man. work. I hate to have to listen to like somebody being my boss. I want to be the boss. Yeah. But I don't like, I like, I would look at the boss and I'm like, man, this is, this is what you drive and this is what you make. And other people get inspired by that, but I'm like, Nigga, you don't even know my dad. Like, you guys think you're balling, dog, and you have no idea the house we live in compared to where you guys live in. Like, bro, no, bro, my dad was a very powerful man, like, income wise, power wise. So it was like, I'm going to work and I'm having to, like, get treated like a bitch in a sense or just, you know, like, someone's telling me to do. To see, like, my checks and see their checks and they, people really thought they had big checks. I'm like, dog, my dad spends that on us going out to dinner, dog. Like, no cat fully, like, weekly, dog, you know? So, like, all these great jobs, for I was always hustling on the side, bro. Or working the job and doing, like, I was a trash man, bro. 
And I was sitting home, certain homes up, give me a hundred bucks, and I'll leave you two black trash cans. Like, dead ass. Fool, I was doing illegal shit. I was like, yo, 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 clean your shit out and leave all everything dumped. I'm gonna take the inmates over there and clean your house up. Fool, like, bro, doing my side games, making three, four, fool, on the clock. Like, I give a fuck, I'm out here trapping, dog. Like, scheming shit, bro. It was like, and then one day I said, I, just, I was like, man, I, I wanna be a drug dealer, bro. I'm tired of going to jail, bro. I was going to jail so much, or fighting the stupid shit, like gangbanging. And then I was just like, fuck it, dog, I'm gonna start growing weed. And then I was like, I'm just gonna sell it, like, to big people, this, that. And then, like I said, I'm not a half-assed person. I just got real deep into it, bro. And when I got my first harvest, I was like, the time it just started, like, was about to get legal and shit, dog, and legal delivery. So I just happened to hit the, like, gold mine right when it was time, you know? And all my brothers are about the politics. So, like, you know, a lot of people can't trust their family. But my family is very, very, like, all of us are the same. One one body, different minds type shit. You know what I mean? Like, like we all on point, you know what I mean? So I was just blessed, bro. No capery. You, uh, are you still close to your mom and dad? I'm close to my dad. Close to your dad? Yeah, I don't like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, she's cool, dog, but, you know, I feel like a mother should love a son no matter what he is or what he does. I may have a short temper. I may not be ideally a perfect person, but I love my mother very much. But you treat me like trash, like I ain't shit, and I, don't, I came from your pussy. Like, you know what I mean? I should fight with my daddy over you. What the fuck? So... You know, but I get it. A lot, of, a lot of moms don't want sons who out here just stop fucking and shooting everything. Do you know? like, all right, mom, well, sorry, all right, all right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You so, know, but, so like, why do you think your dad accepted it, but your mom didn't? Is well, that's it just that, a, like man versus woman thing. Well, no, nah, that's what me and my mom fight about. Like, bitch, you married this nigga. <laughs> like, look who the fuck your husband is. I'm his son. What the fuck? Like, you know, like that type of shit. But it's not that, bro. My dad's just a real dad. Like. We fight a lot. We go through our shit, dog. But he's always, like, always try to steer me right, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, everything I got, I, it was so fucked up. Because I always tell him, you're like a bad father. And he's like, why? I'll be like, because, man, every real drug dealer is supposed to pass his plugs up to a son. And you know what I mean? Dad, you's a bitch. I got to go fight my old plug. He's like, I don't want you in his life. But I was like, I hate that you're a gay father. <laughs> fuck you, dad. That was my version of whiteness. Like, fuck you, dad. I hate you, dad. I, I'm leaving, all right? I'm leaving, all right? But then I just did my own shit. To this day, it's funny because he, he, like, he would try to pick up packs. I'd be like, Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm your dad, but I don't remember that. I don't forget that shit, Dad. He was like, oh, "Bitch, you give me the plugs." Dead ass, bro. But you know, he's always been a great dad, bro. Like, we can literally fight like crazy, bro. And then ten seconds later, I need your help. I got you. So you, you, know you can talk to him about anything. Oh, dude, my dad's worse than me. <laughs> he's bro. My dad is worse than me. I'd be like, "How the fuck were you with my mom for this long?" Like, nigga, you are animal. Like, yes, my dad tries to fuck every girl that, I, that he sees over. <laughs> Bro, literally. He's trying to keep your game tight. Literally, he be, he be hooking my big mom a little arm. Like, yo, get the fuck off. Then he be, he be like, yeah, I'm saying, homie. If you can't keep her, if you can't keep her, homie, you know what I'm saying? Don't be a sleeper. I'm like, oh, all right, all right, dad. All right, all right, dad. That's how we're doing here. Okay. <laughs> no, but for my dad, we go to him. Like, he be like, hey, let me get you from a dog. I'm like, what's up? He be like, who's that bitch? I'm on my little flips. He be like, hey, tell us to suck my dick. And I'm like, what? He be like, he be like, come on, I'm your dad. I'm like, exactly. That's gross. He be like, I know, but if you tell us, like, it's your dad, fool, he be like, cool. It's like, pimp. I'm like, are you trying to pick? Are you really trying to play me, Dad? Like that's what he does. He's trying to daily. run game on you, for bro. Your oh, bro, yeah, bro. There's been times I went to the bathroom and I come back and <laughs> two girls are gone. I'm like, and then my dad, I'm like, I'm looking at my dad like, dude, you fuck these two bitches on my fucking on my wolf bed. I had a bed, dude. I paid like ten grand for it. It was made out of wolf fur, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> no, true story. I had a bed custom made out of wolf fur, bro. I was thinking, I was I was going through some like like fucking king Viking stage, dog, like. Bro, if you see my bed right now, dude, my bed is like six feet high. No bullshit, bro. I've, my bed, like, the rim is like right here, bro. I'm like, no cap, fully. It's a huge bed. But I have this custom bed, and the bitches are gone. And I, I open my room, and I see my dad. And I'm, I first I see two bitches. My dad's a little, a little essay, like Pitbull, a little baby joker. And then I see the bitches, like, making out with each other, and they, they roll over, and my dad gets up, and I'm like this. What the f I'm mad because they're, they're all butt naked on my bed with no, no blanket. And he gets up, and he's like, he pulls his pants, like, hey, what's up, fool? I'm like, What's up, daddy? You fucking these bitches on my... Like, that's my bitch. You fucking them on my bed? He's like, yeah, you want to go in here? You want to get in? He's like, you want to get in on this? I'm looking like, fool, I got so mad, I just left my house. I said, no, it's your house now. Fuck you, it's your house. I just left, dog. Damn. Left, fool. My dad's a savage, fool. That's crazy. My dad is a fucking... This true story for my dad's a savage, bro. That's crazy. Like, fool. I've seen it. Like, fool, my dad literally, like, he was the guy, like, I was like 15. I go to him, and I'm like, dad, what are you doing? I'm like, can I get like 50 bucks? And he'd be like, fuck no. And I'd be like, he'd be like, why are you winning for? And I'd be like, I got some bitches. And he'd be like, fool, pull up. And he'd be like, he'll give me a hundred bucks. He'll tell me, 
hey, fool, get some condoms. That's for, you know, gotta have cut like two bottles for the bitches, dog. And I'll be like, but make sure you get condoms. Fool, I kid you not, my dad supplied my condoms for like five years. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he could be at home with my mom or dad because he didn't he didn't want to have no like no grandkids and he knew if I'm like his I'm his fucking son. For I promise you, he just, hey, drops one at the window. Good looking out, dad. Sometimes it's lie. He's a gas buddy. I don't know. <laughs> True story. Shit. True story. Okay, shit. Yeah, for that fool found my gun, and kept it. He found your gun. And, and then I see that. But it's funny because he was like, "You got a fucking gun in my house, dog?" And my mom's tripping and he's playing a role. I'm looking at him like. I was like 15, and I was like, yeah, he's like, where'd you get it from? I was like, just the homie. <laughs> and, he, he, and I was just wouldn't say that thing. He was so mad at me. He's like, well, guess what, homie? He's like, this motherfucker got his mind. The homie, I'm gonna fucking tell you, motherfucker. And he puts it in his waist, and then like a month later, fool, I'm with him partying the weekend, and someone says shit. He's like, what the fuck? And he pulls my gun. I'm like, oh, you killed my gun, you bitch ass nigga, dad. Oh, I was a cool little chrome nine, huh, daddy, you bitch ass nigga. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's switch. Uh, are you an alpha male or a beta male? I'm an alpha. Now, so let me ask you this. With women, yes. is it best to be honest or nice with them? Neither. Bro, believe it or not, bro, I consider myself a Casanova, but I have no bullshit. I have like five other friends that are all like two are strippers, one's a model. No cap. These guys are like Greek gods, right? And I probably get as much pushy as them or sometimes more. And we all have one thing in common. When you want to get a girl, bro, you have to become what they like. So a real drug dealer can look at somebody and read their body for two minutes and know like what it is, who he is, how his English is, you know what I mean? Same thing for a female, bro. So a man has five minutes, because believe it or not, bitches are not that smart, bro. So you have five minutes to really read her, let her talk, let her run her mouth and see the way she moves, see what she talks about. Really, you have to really school this bitch, bro. So I'm just like Terminator. You're seeing the Matrix plug in. What the fuck was that? That's what you're doing, right? And in five minutes, bro, you become everything she likes. Like, bro, I'm a big fat ass SHO little nigga, right? And bro, you have no idea, bro. Hello, governor. Tell you call you on the type of crumpets and tail. Like, bro, I do that, bro. I tell bitches that I work <laughs> what for What was now. that? What bro, was that? I change accents. I become, bro, I became, bro. Like, I become every character that the bitch likes. I'll just go off with her so you're ego. like Agent Smith. You can just morph into whatever you need. So if they're like, like a Will Smith person, I become real clean cut. I become like, man, I don't play that shit, man. But, you know, family first. Like, I go for the, like, the, like bro, I, like, you know, I play that. That man, I'm trying to make this money, me and my wife. I'm trying to become an equal. Like, oh, I want that type of equal thing. Some bitches want dick and direction, bro. Some bitches like thugs. Some bitches like funny guys. Some bitches like, oh, I like white boys who are clean cut. Oh, but he's the guy that sells fucking pot to the white guys, and I'm really cool. Like, how you doing, are beautiful? Like, I just changed my whole swag up, bro. The way I dress, the way I talk, like, the way I carry myself, I literally call it being a chameleon. Mm. So, whether you're nice... That whether, goes hand in hand with sales. I promise you, when you're nice, bro, some bitches don't like that. Some bitches really want a hood nigga. I have really classy women, older women, bro, who you would not believe, like, who don't like nice. They like assertive. They like firm. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I have some bitches that really like to be dominated. I have some bitches that really be like, you're talking too mean. They, they want to be equals. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you wear, you wear dresses and have those glasses. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> like, you know, you just have, I just read a bitch, bro, because honestly, I'm not shit. But if I'm cool with you, it's for two reasons. Like, either you have something that I want, or I just want to fuck you to put you on, under my notch. <laughs> okay. No cap, bro. Like, I don't have any friends that I'm cool with. I don't have any homegirls. Like, I literally just want to put my dick. Bro, you, you're fat and ugly, but you have EBT. She can suck my dick. <laughs> Like, bro, that's the type of guy they am. Like, uh, like, like, bro, literally, you don't become the boss by being stupid, bro. Like, I play that dumb fat guy who's going to play. Uh, then I fuck you, record it, send it to my friends and be like, ah, 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 I got tits and I fucked you. You ate my ass. <laughs> I'm savage, bro. Promise you. So, like, with all your women, right? Yeah. Are you saying that you kind of tell them whatever they want to hear? Or are you honest? So, I'm honest with my main ones. Okay. So my main woman, I'm very honest to where they can handle that. Because each one can handle different levels of it. Okay. To any of my... Explain, explain. <laughs> like my other little bitches, like, I don't give a fuck. Or I'm just acting whatever they want. You know, just get pussy. Like, let me hit like four or five times from my friends. I really, you had your knots. And then, all right, I lost you. But bitch, I, I fucked you. And I give them good dicks. So I keep them. But on my, on my mains, like, like I said, I have some that I've been with 15 years. Some that I've been with 10 years. You know, it's just like... I got one of my main chicks. I get to tell her everything. Like, it's open. Like, you know what I do. Well, I was just fucking bitches last night. Shit, where's my daughter's at? <laughs> like, oh, hey, damn, that's a T.I. ain't shit. Being a hoe and shit. So it's levels to it. Yes. And then it's like certain ones that I just keep it like 70% honest. Because if you heard if you, that little 30%, you heard the truth. <laughs> it's just some things a woman can't handle. There's some things that a man can't do. And. I just do those things. I'm one of those guys that thinks I can just get away with anything, bro. I'm really one of those, like, man, like, 
You love me, you love to me, you just have to be mine forever. You're already mine, everyone knows you're mine, I'll care everybody else, so you ah, I gotta fuck. You know what I mean? And then the last one's just so crazy, I don't get the headache, so I just lie about everything. I be like, no, oh, bitch, I don't I know you come with the same girl nine years in a row. I don't know who she is. It wasn't me. <laughs> like, dog. I get cut almost every day, dog. And they all still fuck me. <laughs> So is there any point in time you can see yourself with one person? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, low-key dog. At <laughs> what age? I'm actually trying to think about getting married, bro. Yeah, no cat food. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, bro, no cat food. Yeah, bro. 2022? Nah, bro, like, like probably like next year. Like, I'm, cause I'm, like, I'm real, bro. It all sounds like funny and shit, dog, but I'm, I'm just being honest, bro. But in actuality, bro, it, it does get fucked up because... All my bitches are like white material, bro. But, you know, I do got a son and like, I am a great father. So I feel like my son's getting to that age now, you know what I mean? Seven. So it's like, damn it, I can't get away with it no more. Like, he's going to start noticing. Well, yeah, bro. Like, you know, you always want your, your, you know what I mean? Like, to get, get your little horse shit out the way, dog, while you can. And I was like, damn, this little nigga's like really knowing the game and shit. Like, what's up, dad? We come home with you. Why, why, hey, why'd you be home four days? Like, I was out of town. He's like, nah, I see your Snapchat. Like, <laughs> until you guys, until he gets old enough where you guys start doing the same shit. Like nah, never, dad. never. Don't, hey, don't lie. Like, you're I not won't. Gonna, like, it's I won't. not going to happen. You know what, bro? Because I really realized that my dad really fucked me for no cap. Like, I, it made me one hell of a cool person, but I don't want a cool person. I want a president. You know what I mean? I want a fucking actor. I love my son more than I love myself. And I love what I'm doing in the run, so I'll be happy to take my throne, but I really, truly want more for my son. So, it's time to get right with him and get right with my family and do right. But it's just like, I'm kind of the people that just rides into the cat ride no more, dog. Like, I don't hop off the, I don't hop off the jet. This motherfucker stop. It's like, all right, I got to stop now. So I've already been trying to slow it down. It's just really hard because people always say, just don't fuck. Just don't do that. Just don't cheat. And it's like, <laughs> you only say that because you don't get ass like I get ass. And when you do, it's like backdoor bitches, bro. Like, oh, your bad bitch is like my average four bitch, bro. Like, I really fuck movie stars. Like, bro, like, I really be in there getting slobbed up and I'm like, oh, you're in that movie. Oh, we're getting sucked up together. Like, <laughs> like, no, bro. Like, I really do shit like that, bro. Like, I literally fuck girls that you guys jack off to. So it's like, it's easy for you to say fuck, fat fuck, you know what I mean? Like, oh, nigga, look at me, bro. Like, to lock this shit down for one person is like, I get it, but it's like, man, like, I'm a legend, bro. You know, it's hard to just give that up, bro. Like, out of all my friends, bro, even the model guys, are like, I'm just like that fat, I'm like the unicorn, heard about but never seen. You always hear about that one cute chubby dude that just has all the bitches in the room, but you never really see him in real life. I'm that dude, bro. <laughs> He's here in real life. Yeah, I'm that dude, bro. So it's like, I have to give that up, man. Do I really want to do that? But I have to, dog. Otherwise, I'm going to have another generation of little, of little fucking whore fat sons. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no! Yeah, so. Okay. You know. So, like, when you said you want better for your son, like, you mean, well, like, what do you want him to do? Or what, what do you see him doing? Whatever he wants, bro. Whatever he wants. Whatever he wants, dog. But I'm one of those parents that, like, says that on camera, but behind the camera, I'm like, listen, you little bitch, okay? You're going to be great, okay? <laughs> You're going to pick one thing. Or if not, I'm picking this. You got to pick football star, doctor, actor, president. Like, it's... NASA employee, pick one motherfucker because I'm gonna start. Dude, I literally, my son played, he said he wants to play piano, dog. Yeah, bro, his, I, I feel really bad for my son because it's a punishment now, bro. <laughs> Every night, two hours a night, now, guess what? And every time you play, I, want, I make all my employees sit down. Listen to my son. And my son's like, the heat is on. I can't fuck this up right now. My dad's watching. I'm like, good. <laughs> I'm one of those dads, bro. Like, you're gonna be great, dog. I don't care if you hate me. I get fucked, bro. By the time you're like 17, 18, the girls are like, Oh my god! Oh my god! He's playing piano so beautifully. I'm gonna fucking eat his ass. You know? <laughs> I'm about to doing him the favor, dog. I'm making him cool. You know oh yeah, shit. You know shit. All right. Um, favorite weed? Do you have a favorite strain to smoke? Cookies. Cookies. No cap, bro. Cookies. I, I can sit here. I mean, there's so many more. Some people got OG. Some people got exotics. There's so many flavors. But honestly, bro, my favorite strain. No cap. Shout out burners. It's cookies, bro. Cookies. It, 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 there's many favorites of cookies. Majority of all of them, but just, just fire ass cookies, bro. <laughs> fire ass cookies. It's amazing, you know? Uh, fucking, where do you see the game going in the next five years? There's no telling, bro. There's, there's no, no telling. telling it's bro. like the stock market. Yeah, bro. Anywhere. Everyone's saying it's going to be 100% legitimate. We don't know. I don't know. I'm basically like, I'm in the game playing it and seeing where it goes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever is where they finish later. You know what I'm saying, bro? It might be completely legitimate. It might wash away. It might get fucking. Willie's Conca. In the last year, the game has went from five and 6,000 a pack to 
1500 2000 a pack to six, 7000 a pack for some true ass real Zaza exotics and shit, dog. To fucking average pack is 31, 35. So now average pack is, you know what I mean, 19 to 25, 27, 28. You know what I mean? Like, shit. So it, sound, it sounds like fucking the well, stock market or Bitcoin or yeah, whatever. Yeah, but it's kind of like in a sense of COVID. You know what I mean? When they do lockdowns, it's hard to get. Prices go up. Blah, blah, blah. You know the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. Now it's COVID. Now everything, everyone's back in flows. Everyone has weed. Everybody, every time they get them stimulus checks, every time something happens, I'm going to get some weed and flip it. You raggedy bitches. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Leave it to professionals, man. You know what I mean? Leave it to the pros. Yeah, bro. You know, you know how it is, bro. Okay, so there's no telling where the fuck it could be in the next five, ten years. Not for Who me. Who knows? Not do you ever me. see? Do you ever see it like going super commercial where it's in Walmart? I hope so. I hope I'm a part of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let me get in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Let me saying? supply Walmart. Dead ass. Let me put the FG brand in that bitch. You know what I mean? Okay. It could happen or it could not happen, bro. You know what I mean? Like, there's too much money behind weed. You know what I'm saying? I believe eventually one day it probably will go, but. You don't know, bro. With COVID, everything going down, and we don't know where we're going to be in the next two or three years, bro. So I said, I just, I fucking ride it to the bus stops, bro. You know what I mean? Dead ass. There's no, I won't even say in cap like, oh, it's, nah, why get my prediction to be completely wrong? <laughs> I'll talk about things I don't even know, dog, you know? So if, like, let's say it all ends today. Uh huh. Everything ends today. The, uh-huh. sh- the shop goes away. Everything goes away. What mm-hmm. would you do? Still eat three meals a day? <laughs> like, bro, honestly, I'm a provider. Like, if this went away, then I'd go to my dogs. If my dog went away, then i hit the streets. You know what I mean? Then if that was me, I'd probably be selling my dick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like there's nothing that there's I want. There's always something. Yeah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm a hustle too. I can't hustle no more. If all this fails, there's nothing else, then I feel sorry for you, niggas. Because <laughs> I'm coming. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you know, I don't play that shit, dog. Like, nah, bro. Refuse to be broke. It's just not in me, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's too much money to be broke, bro. Like, if I have to choose between the lifestyle that I grew up in, where I'm going to be at, you know what I mean? They say one in every fucking million people make it out and do that. Well, I'm not one of the million people. I'm not going to lie to myself. So I'm going to do whatever I can do to get me out of this life. You know what I mean? By any means necessary. Lie, steal, cheat, kill, whatever. I would do anything to get me out of where I am. You know what I'm saying? So being broke is a mindset. I won't do it, bro. Like, there be times I'm broke as fuck, right? And I'm like, I'm not broke. <laughs> I'm not broke. You figure this fuck out. Like, <laughs> I'm broke. Someone's gonna die. I'm not broke. I'm not broke. <laughs> someone's yeah. gonna die. Everyone's gonna head down like, yeah. So we're not broke, right? Let's figure it out. Like, dead <laughs> ass, bro. Like, no, no, bro. Is is a day ever stressful to you? Every single day. Every day. Every day, bro. Why is that? I spot so much so much weed. <laughs> what do you mean? I see myself. Well, what's stressful? Well, I, you seem like a calm, cool guy. Because I smoke so much weed, <laughs> bro. Before weed, bro, I was going to jail like every weekend. I would knock Are you a mo- I would knock a motherfucker off for looking at me wrong, bro. I would literally. Fight in church and beat it. Like, what the fuck you say, dog? You look at me. Like, fool, I don't play that shit, bro. I was a real that game. Was you? Yeah, I was a real. Bro, I was bro, the person you... that you didn't want to be in jail with. I was the bully. I was in there like, I was really just a trade ass thug. Fool, I'm like, from West Side, Redugal. What's cracking, homie? And I said, I'm not like that. I'm just grown now, bro. But every day I stress, bro. So I smoke a lot of weed. Fool, I smoke every 30 minutes because I have to, bro. Because I try to, when I smoke weed, it levels me out. So I can be like, all right, dog. Either break his fucking face for $50 or prove your point or be like, look, homie. You want to keep making money or not making money? All right, guess what? I ain't got to fuck with you no more for 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Or every now, I know you're cool. You made it back. We'll be friends. You know what I mean? Like, you know how it is, bro. But every day I stress. I have to stress. There's no way I cannot stress, bro. I, I mean, like I said, bro, I have several vendors where these motherfuckers want their money every day. 20,000, 30,000, 50 racks. You know what I'm saying? Then, oh, yeah, then I, like I said, then I got like my family and then my, the shit I do. And then, like I said, I sacrifice myself. Like, my number one stress thing is this. Is putting your all and everything into something you truly believe in and failing. And that shit failing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really hard. So I come in here and I do, like I said, I do, I do the things that I don't want my boys to do. I come in here and take the L's and do secret things that no one knows about and take the hurt and take the losses and make everything look good. And I got to fucking sell my boat type shit, dog. You know what I mean? Like, but I do, any, I do just the fucked up shit, bro. I, I, I break the, the, the alliances. I do certain things, bro, that every real king will tell you you have to do to become a real king so that my kingdom is great. So to do all, everything that I do, bro, you know what I'm saying? Every day is special because we can't fail. We cannot fail. So every day I have to make sure everything is paid. My people are working. People are flowing in. I have to constantly make sure if, if it's not flowing in, then there's money being pulled from different networks like this, 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 that. I'm only one person. See, I have like 15 hard workers, bro. 15 hard ass workers. And I got three fucking minds that are geniuses, bro. And it's still not enough, bro. Because at the end of the day, bro, I'm the person. I'm the face. I'm King Tito, bro. So if money ain't being made, it's because of me, because this is what I put my heart into. This is what I put my life behind. You know what I'm saying? 
not just the weed, it's, the, it's branding it. Really like not being an average Joe and being like everybody else. Really being like, I gotta be cool with this person. I gotta network with this person. I gotta spend about 20 grand with him in the next four months. Buy him dinner, take him here, buy this, buy your dude. You know what I mean? Building fucking networking, doing the right thing. Let motherfuckers know who you are and what you do. And the whole time I'm doing that, damn, I got $30,000 in debt in my shop. I gotta do it in two days. Hmm. How do you not stress? Okay. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying, bro? Then the whole time I have to go home. When I go home, like I said, my kid's mom's a pastor. You know what I mean? Like, my son, yeah, no bullshit. My, yeah, my son's a fucking. Oh. Yeah, no, true story. My kid's mom is a legitimate pastor at school and all that. So, like, my son is really, like, a good kid. So, I go home and I just, right before I get to the door, I just shake the streets off. I go, okay, shake them off, this one off. And I open that door and I go, hey, man. Hey, hey, this is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need the dinner? Yeah, yeah, I got money. You gonna go shopping? Yeah, yeah. Like, for, like, for real, bro. Like, it's, no one It is fair to say it's important to look like nothing phasing you in front of your Every woman. Every day. Yeah. Every day, my father said, "Money, you gotta look like you have it, even if you don't." You know what I mean? Like that's just every day. Like <clears throat> if I stress to make her stress, like I'm really old school. I'm really like the boss. Like I don't just see myself as a regular person. My everyday life is I'm King Tito. You know what I'm saying? So like to start having regular nigga problems, you're not really a king, and that's not regular nigga problems. But to your girl, your problems are always regular. You could be the richest person to her. It's like. You yeah, these, these regular nigga problems like, bitch, I want 100 grand to go kill all of us. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you should have got this. Like, like uh, <laughs> real king wouldn't have these problems. You know, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you seen Pablo Escobar that had these problems. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's right. Fuck. All right, you whore. The entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. Are you born with the spirit or can you develop it? I couldn't tell you if you could develop it. I was born with it. You're born with it? Yeah, like I told you, I believe certain people are just bred to be certain ways. But like, Every one of us at our shop have different dreams. He wants to do something with his life. My brother wants to do something different with his life. My other boys want to do something different with their life, but we understand one thing. In order to do that, we need money. In order to make real money, we have to come together and build and build something and dedicate to it. And then we're going to work hard for the company so the company can work for you one day. That's the mindset. You know what I mean? So that's just what it is, bro. <laughs> like, it's a, it, that's the mindset, bro. So you were born an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, is this your first business or did you have anything else before this? Several. Several? Several, bro. What were they? Pimpin was one of them. Okay. Bro, <laughs> okay. bro, a pit, bro, I, like, bro, like, uh, some real shit, bro. Like, a real hustler is going to tell you this, bro. I did anything to make money. I'm not going to say like, I did anything to make money. I don't do it anymore. I did it. I've been in jail for some shit I did. Like, anything to make money. A person like me, I don't listen to the laws of man. I'd be like, well, are you, you going to go this, this much time? All right. And then I went to jail one day and then I realized, damn, my uncle shot calling here. Then my deal got the whole keys. I got a grown ass cholo I never been for. We from here that killed seven niggas making my bed. He asked me if I want to make a spread. I'm just like, what do you mean spread? Oh, oh, hell yeah. Like, it was fun, bro. At that point, I realized, oh, it's a mindset. You know what I mean? Like, being a regular person, you, you think a certain type of way. You're scared of certain type of things. And you don't want to risk it. Entrepreneurs and, and drug dealers are the same thing. We get a product, we sell it aggressively, it's in high demand. You know what I mean? It's, it's a mindset, bro. You know? So, like, the way I feel is like, I, the dream was to get out the game. And then now that I'm in the business it's like this, I watch other entrepreneurs and I have other friends who have things that I, I could never dream of having. And they're like, well, you know, real millionaires have more than one income. Then I'm like, what? I'm listening to them. Then I'm looking at, well, you know, you listen to Gary Vee. Also, I'm just really trying to suck as much knowledge <laughs> as I can, bro. Like, and not be regular. The point is, if you're regular, you're going to be fucking where you are forever. The only way to keep going is to be intelligent, keep networking, and keep moving, and keep striving, and keep having that charisma. You know what I'm saying, bro? So entrepreneur is a mindset. It's like, no, no, I refuse to be no. I refuse that to happen. No, it cannot happen. I want this to happen. There's no way for it not to happen if I do this and I do this. If this ain't happening, because I'm not doing this. If this ain't happening, I'm not doing this. And my mindset this. It's all a mindset, bro. You know? Can you, uh, do you have to be alpha to, uh, be an entrepreneur or can you be a beta male too or no? Yes, I believe so. Me and my brother. Either or could be? Yeah, but I got to see myself in, in a pack of alphas. I'm the alpha of alphas. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm very different than my brother. I'm loud. I'm flashy. I'm pulling my dick out. I'm what you say. I'm knocking the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like TV crazy. That's me. My brother is very, very humble. I don't care if you know me. I don't want to know anybody. I'm very private about his life. Very like, and he's, you know, he makes just as much money as I do. 
only difference is I'll spend it on a, on a chain or a dog, and this motherfucker is like, I'm investing in this and this, that. You know what I mean? Okay. But there's just different types of entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Like, he invests his money differently than I invest my money. But in all reality, it's all the camp's money. You know what I'm saying? Like, 15 minds all coming together. Hey, bro. Where can the people find you at? What's your IG? What's your YouTube? Uh, you can catch us on my IG at Finest Greens underscore 909. And then you can check our YouTube show. At, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, our YouTube podcast TV show on YouTube, uh, the FG Camp Show. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it.